Hello everyone, welcome back to Coding Chess. My name is Nelson and I'm glad to have you guys back. So, as you can see on the screen, I have an image over here. As you can see, we have the um, selector. Then down beneath this, we have the um, declaration. So, as you guys could remember from the last video, I taught you guys about selectors and declarations. Whereby I say that selectors are like the HTML tags, like here they point us to um, the tags in which um, we want, the elements in which we want. So, as you know, H1 is um, uh, an HTML um, tag, or you could say an HTML um, element. So, whereby when we want to install um, H1 tag on our page, so we select that. So, that's why we name this um, selector. That's how we call um, these elements in which we um, point to selectors. So, those styles in which we apply color, fonts, um, padding, merging, and the rest of that, we um, the unknown as the um, declarations, both um, um, properties and values. So, as you can see, colors, the property, fonts, weight, property, font size, and the rest of that, those are all properties. Then, um, um, the values in which you give to them, like can't just say color nothing so you're gonna say color blue or you can say color orange so orange blue violet whatsoever color you want to give to it to um the property and um, property so um we regard that as the value so these are all like sets of um rules um you can say self -self -self of rules so but just know that these are selected and um declaration so basically in um today's video i'm gonna dive more about um selectors declarations and i'm also gonna let um tell you guys more about um cascading you know css cascading style sheet so you guys know about the styling color and the rest of that so i want you guys this time around to know about um cascading so let's dive into the video let's go back to our studio so as you can see this is what i've structured out um structured out for us in our vs code so over to uh web browser see as this looks hello friends um some dummy text lauren ipsum you watch the movie black panther of course yes i have lauren ipsum and the rest of that so let's go ahead and styling this um elements so um take for instance we have d with class of one so inside this um element let's take for instance we want to style um all the history so you could uh, many looking inside this you could see we have two histories this is an history and this is another history so let's go on to our css file and i can say um, history like this so this is how you do it so you remember this history is um a selector so we're pointing to the history element inside the index um the html um file so Inside this right now, I'm just gonna say hello red, yeah, and then let's save this and go over to preview in our web browser so you could see hello friends. I'm back, it's um, colored red, and this also colored red. So, you, um, as I told you guys, these are um, our history um, elements. So this is an history and this also is an history. So take for instance, we want to do um this one we did for um the p element. So let's get back and let's style um all the p elements inside this um, class. So we have two p's. So I'm gonna say p. Then I'm gonna give this a different color. I'm gonna say green. Okay, sorry. My bad. Green. Yep. And save this and let's go over. And as you can see, um, the color of text they've changed um to green. So this is green and this is green because the p um tags or you could say p elements. So take for instance um what if you don't want to style like inside um that um d for the class of form you don't want to style um. All the p um elements let me say you want to style the first one over here just this one and you don't want to style this so it's that simple what you're gonna do as you can see this is um p and this is p so as you could remember from the last video i taught you guys about um attributes 
um, attributes are like um, things containing values um, that are pointing to something you understand that contain in an element so let me make use of the class attribute here I'm gonna say class then let me um, give this a, a, a value I'm gonna say let me just say a but you know it sounds crazy but just for the sake of the video so you're not gonna want to uh, want name your class a you don't want to name it um, something unique and something nice so be with class of a so um let me go over to our css so i'm not just gonna style um, the p right now so what i want to style is p with class of a so i'm gonna come over here and say just say class of a and by so doing we we um start with a dot this dot represents class this simply means class of a so it's gonna come inside here and check which element contains the class of a so it's not the div it's not the h3 or nearer you see this h3 below so it's just pointing straight to this p so this is the p containing the class of a so this is what is gonna start for us uh, for us so let me let me save then let's review on our web page let me, let me refresh yeah so as you can see right now so um p with class of a i give it a, a color of green so you can see that's why this is um shining green the the text uh green and for this as you can see this is also a p tag but this time around i'm not styling um this p tag i'm styling only this one so Firstly, I start um, both of them. So this time around, I'm not styling this one. I'm just styling this one um, sing, single. So if take my I want to style this also. So what you're just gonna do is come over here, give it um, a unique um, attributes, uh, unique class um, attributes. So you could say um, class. Then you could just say um, this to be B. Then save. Then maybe if you want to style this separately what you're just going to do is come over to your css so you're going to just say class of p and i tell you guys by so doing you're just going to say dot p so this simply means class of p so this time around, let me just say background background color i'm just going to say let me say lights lights blue then let's save and let's go preview this so as you can see the background color over here let me zoom the background color here is light um blue yeah which is nice so um for the other um, class of a it's just the text in which you start which is um green give it um color green so yeah so let's get back to this so currently right now i've um added another div inside our html file so as you can see and I give the class of two div with class of two. So if you scroll up, you can see this says div with the class of one. So how about if we want to style um all the um h trees, all the h trees um inside this file? So it's just that simple. You're just gonna say h tree, just over like this h tree with a color of red. So let's say this and let's say this. So regardless of maybe they contain inside um, um different divs of um, different classes it's still i'm um, gonna style them because what um this simply means is i just said just start for me um the history inside um this html file um with a color of red so let's save and let's preview this so see the first history the uh, the second one have you watched the movie black panther uh, have you watched the movie great man this movie is a great movie so go check it out hello world and so you see so how about now friends maybe um i don't want to style all the histories inside um this html um, file so maybe i just want to style the history contained inside this class of two that's simple so what um, we're gonna do right now is we're gonna target the history contained inside the class of two so how we're gonna do that so let's go over so our css so so it's set up this time around saying history alone so we're gonna make this um 
precise i'm going to be precise right now so we're going to say class of two then inside um the class of two you're going to give um a space then you're going to say um h tree so what this simply means is um get for me the h tree which is contained inside um the class of two so currently right now as you can see i'm covered um at the um h tree and you can see what it says um for me h tree contained inside an um, element which has a class of two so we just implement it get from history and then inside a class of two so let's save this time around so it's not gonna um color for all the um histories um to be read so we're just gonna color um the histories contained inside a class of two with a color of red so let's go preview this so currently right now these um two histories are contained inside the class of one and you can see it's just normal black and black so let me scroll down so you can see the two histories which are contained inside um, the class of two this is red and this is red yeah so friends we also have another attribute um known as id so um id is also another attribute in which we can use um in as um in styling in css you know so not just um class we don't just make use of class alone so make use of id but just know that um we don't always use um id so often um to style in the css but we do make use of ids um very often when we're using um javascript so we mostly use um the class but just for the sake of this video i'm gonna show you guys um how to style with um, the id so right now i'm gonna say um, for um this div okay i'm gonna say okay let me leave this let me come make use of this um e i'm gonna say e with an id of let me just say zero zero so let me save this up so let's go style this i'm just gonna combine this and i'm gonna say class of zero then let me say background color let me just copy this so we don't waste our time typing or we already have paste so i don't want this to be light blue this time i want it to be um pink let me choose pink or purple so save let's save up and let's reveal this in our the browser let me refresh okay my bad friends so whenever um want to start with id we don't say dot the dot simply um signifies the class so for the id we say hash then um you're gonna say state the value of the id on uh, which our values was zero so save this and let's go prepare this time around hopefully it's gonna work so yeah Right now, as you can see, the B um, element is being styled with a background color of purple. So let's go back and you can change this to um, whatever you want. So also, you could also, okay, let me save this. So there's one big um, thing about using IDs. So IDs are always um, unique to themselves. Like you don't love to show it. Um, another element or something like that so just know that whenever you're using an um, id now that we stated that this uh, p element has an id of zero so no other element inside um this um our file is gonna have an id with um zero it's wrong so just know that um ids are unique to themselves and to the elements in which they are called upon so right now we've got this um id zero inside this piece so it's just unique to this so no other element is gonna have this um id but um as for um classes um you could have um two elements with the same class so this p i'm gonna say class of one as usual then copy this and copy this let us see then let me combine this and v so these two elements can have class of one and class of one and if you style um this the both gonna have um the same style so if you if you, if you want let me see if you want to make um this unique okay let me say class of one so let me check 
So let me change this to let me just say let me change this green to plus of one. Then let's save this up. Um, I've colored it um, green, so the fonts are gonna be green. So as you can see, this is green because it contains a class of one. This is green also. He has a class of one, and um, this is green. He has a, a class of one. This is our history D and under history contain um, the class of one. So let me comment all this out. Control and four slash, and let me save this up. So how about um one style okay we have p this piece with um the same class maybe um one or style this um p beneath this um separately so if you say class of one um you guys know it's gonna style both of them so don't want to style both of them just want to style this um second one so by so doing you're just gonna give it um another value so let me say one and let me say big let me just say something one big yeah so this p just has a class containing a single value known as one and why as for this the second one it has a, um, a class containing two values the first value is one and the second value is big so if i want to style this separately um this is different from this i'm not gonna say um class of one this time around so i'm just gonna say class of big so if i come over here and i say class of so let me say the brown color let me just um, copy it from here i don't want to stress myself you know control c and go b yep so let's save up and let's go preview this on um, the browser okay let me refresh so yeah here is so you can see this p is not styled but um as for this one it's styled because i'm only targeting the class of p and it's this p that contains the value um g yeah so i'm just gonna comment this out okay come on so let me copy and oh, so i commented that out so let me see if so right now it's fresh once more as how it was before so let me get back to um, my editor so right now friends um i want to um teach you guys about um the cascading so um what css cascading is i'm going to explain everything for you guys so you're going to know what cascading is in css so as you can see on my screen i have um this um, image see see this board so i have this image about um cascading so whenever i'm um, here the the term cascading cascading simply means from top to um bottom so it has um so i'm trying to put this in the context of um css it has to do like with parents and child um you know like an element being contained inside an, another element so that element which is being contained inside another element is known as the child then that element that has an element being contained inside it is known as the parent so as you can see from this diagram so we see so this is the element which contains an element inside it so this element is known as parents and this is known as the child so this element is being originated from this this came from this so yeah so that's what um cascading is and i'm gonna um show you guys some um, practical aspects of it so let's get back to our editor so talking about cascading so i have um d with class of one so this element this d with a class of one is known as the parent element and this h3 p h3 and p so these elements inside this d are known as the children so these are all children to the um the div which is the um parents so take for instance now let's um style this div so i'm gonna say div with a class of one so this another way of styling you could just say um class of one if you want or you call the element first which is div then you say class of one 
so inside this i'm gonna um give it a color so i'm gonna say color i love to use color red because it's more brighter so let's save this up and let me consider html so let me save up then let's preview on our browser so what's going on friends as you could see i only styled one element but instead of one element being styled it um, goes ahead styling the rest of the um, the elements contained inside the other um, elements so um, i know this is gonna take you guys but i'm surprised you're gonna be surprised that okay what's going on so what's simply going on is that as we all know i told you guys this is the parent element and um these are the um children inside it so whenever you style the parents um, element automatically the um, children elements inside it are going to take up um, that style in which you style their parents um you understand what i'm trying to say so if i style this parent element background color green automatically all these children elements are also going to have a background um color of green if i give it a test, um, test color of red they also um the keys are gonna have um test color uh, um test color of um red so it's not um everything that the children inherit like majorly what um the kids inherit are uh, like fonts um textiles and colors as you can see i've already um showed it i'm um, sh showing you guys the color so give the class of one the kids all inherited um, this color red so you can see the kids are red yeah so so let me um show you an element um and declaration which i know they got now and the kids are not going to inherit so i'm going to say uh, pen, um, okay let me say border border i'm going to say three pixels i'm going to say green let me say green and let me three pieces um solid and green so let me save this up and let's put it on our web browser so over to our web browser as you can see um why you see that the kids are not inheriting um the border is um because of um the some elements as i told you guys um they can be inherited by the the children except when you do so manually but automatically they can inherit it so automatically they can inherit um test colors fonts and the rest of that but they can inherit border so you could see it's only the parent element containing this um border right now which is the div with a class of one so if i want these kids inside the parent element to also um, inherit the um, border i'm just gonna come over here and do that for them manually so i'm gonna say i'm gonna do that i'm gonna say the parent element which is d then inside the d i'm gonna give a space then we have e then this and i'm gonna say border because this is the element in which i want the declaration i want them to inherit i'm gonna say inherit save up so right now i'm money um i'm manually um applying the border inherit to the child um p so let's save up and let's come preview in our browser so in our browser you can see um the p elements which are the children element the p children elements are inheriting the border from the parent element so as i told you guys manually it can't but um sorry automatically it can't but manually you have to um set it yourself so i've set the elements to inherit the border so i could also do so for the history so let's go ahead doing this so let me just copy this and let's not waste our time and come below control v i'm gonna say um d which is sorry i'm gonna say d which is the parent element then space um h3 so what this simply means is the child elements h3 inside the parent element d that's what it means or you could say the parent element d contain the child elements h3 so it's gonna um target there and it's gonna start for you so i'm gonna save this up and voila so here you can see um the h3 they've inherited um the border from the parent elements you can see um um is colored green and the rest of that so that's um how it's done so the scaling is more like um 
inheritance, top to bottom, like whatever you assign to the um, um the parents, automatically it transfers down to the bottom, which are the um the children, the kids, you understand. But not everything that the parents contain that are um also gonna be contained um by the children. So some are automatic and some you have to do that um, manually. So yeah friends, this is all um I have for you guys today. And so thank you guys for sticking around and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.